Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my 7 Days to Die series, Surviving Alpha 18. I got a lot of work lab done last night. I uh, knocked all this down. And if we go down here, actually I'll show you that in a minute because it's kind of too dark out here for that. But um, I made the bacon and eggs that we had and enough eggs to make uh, 5 bacon and eggs. Made some more red tea so we have that. Made 5 more repair kits because uh, we needed it. I'm going to sell the extra cowboy hat that we did have. I took the dye off it. It was a brown dye. Put it on the armor here for now. We're looking pretty uh, pretty neat here. We got our cigar. We get a 10% better deal at the trader. But we do have two um, skill points to spend before we go out here today. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to spend it on here. Um, could go mother load uh, to get more resources. That's a possibility. Um, thinking maybe we go some combat perks here. Oh, we haven't got living off the land yet. Let's get that now. Let's get that now so we can collect more shiz. And then let's get... Um, I think I want to start ranking up intellect. So let's get a level of intellect going. Uh, only because that's going to open up Grease Monkey. We can get the uh, we can get a bicycle. Hopefully we can get that rather early, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. But we can get into turrets. We have to have uh, intellect level 6. And that's a long way away from now. And EA Scientist intellect level 4. This will give us a chance to get uh, chemistry stations and stuff. Um, advanced Engineering Tinkerer uh, will give us the ability to craft workbenches, table saws, cement mixers, and stuff like that. I'm hoping we don't have to do that, but you, know, you never know, right? So we're going to go to the trader today, but what I want to do is... Oh yeah, I sorted stuff out here too. Put these uh, storage chests down so we have all our food and medical supplies in one. Uh, I took out the box that was here, put this one in. This is all of our stuff that we need to build stuff with. And then the top one here is all the tools and weapons and stuff. So, uh, what did I want to do again? Uh, I was going to do something. What was I going to do? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I remember now. 303 cement. And we need some stone. We don't have enough stone. We'll get some on the way. And then let's grab 303 sand. Oops. Let's get 10 more. Because when we go to the trader today, we're going to make some concrete. Uh, might as well. So let's go do that. We're going to head off to the trader first things first. Um, because we need to turn, to turn in that quest that we had yesterday. That'll give us enough money to hopefully buy something half decent. Um, maybe he's... Ooh, hello. Good morning. Ow. Yeah, I'm lagging a bit here too. Yeah, he's pissed. I don't, mind. I don't blame you, buddy. I don't blame you. Hang on a second. I'm going to restart the game just to see if it makes a difference. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, and it seems everything seems to be fine now. So, I don't know. Maybe there's a memory leak or something. I have no idea what the deal is, but... Yeah, I get laggy every once in a while, and I get severe lag. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's got to do anything to do with the lighting, because it's fine now. Um, don't know what to say. The only thing I can say is we're heading to the trader. You know what maybe we should do? We need stone, so let's hit up some stone. Um, and while we're doing this, grab some stone. Maybe we'll head over. There's a... I know there's that um, barn close by. So that should give us enough to make 303 concrete. We had a zombie beating on our wall last night. Not exactly sure why he just didn't go around. He was like a handful of feet away from the edge of the wall. And he decided just to continue to bang on it. So I just zapped him with a, about, a, about 20 arrows. He was hard to hit. He was like bouncing around back and forth. Uh, where is that barn? I know there's a barn here somewhere. Am I mistaken? You know what? I'm going to grab this gypsum. Because the other thing we want to do is make... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to only grab a little bit. Because um, I think we have enough at home. I want to make a some farm plots tonight. Because we've got we've got the mushroom seeds we can use. Um, there's a few other things I think we have that we can put in there. Oh, blueberry seeds we found. There's the barn. I knew there was a run around here somewhere. Alright, give me some pants. We need better pants. I will take it. 
drop it on for now. Why not? It's not going to harm us in any way. Let's knock this tree out. A couple of zombies in there. Do we want to go in here now? I think we want to go to the trader. For, well, if we're going to do concrete, we don't really need it today, though. Don't really need the concrete today. I mean, it would be nice, though. Maybe, yeah, let's do that. Let's hit this building up. I'm going to take this stone first. Definitely going to need the stone if we're going to make concrete. Grab this first. Yeah, we don't get any other resources besides stone out of these boulders now. And you don't get enough, I don't think. So that was 71 stone off a full boulder. I don't think that's enough for a boulder like that. Considering you're hitting it 12 times. Okay, let's see if we can get around this side of the guy. There you are. Time to wake up, buddy. I made a bunch more arrows last night, as you can see, in the bottom corner there. Ah, shit, he got a hold of me. Twice he got a hold of me. I'm still getting used to this new combat system. I can't play like I played before. It's frustrating me a little bit. Okay. It's that running. And when you used to hit before, too, with the arrows, like, I, some of them are missing now. Like that one. There we go. Thought for sure those would have hit. Okay, what do we got in here? Give me something good. Oh, glass and feathers. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to knock some of this corn down. So we're getting two for each of these now. I think that was a good change, too. Flipping off the land, giving you two off of hits on even uh, stuff that you don't plant yourself. Okay. 18. That should be enough. Let's get our shovel back down here. How much we get off these guys? 44. That's pretty good. Ooh. I'll take that. Yes, please. So this barn is a little easier to clear out than the other ones. The other one we used to hit up all the time. This one's just slightly easier. What the hell? Oh, it needs repairs. Well, we can do that. Come on. There you are. Oh, shoot. Dodging and weaving. How you like me now? Now I gotta reload too. Frustrating, man. Yeah, Tex, what's up? Where are you going? Come on. There we go. Come and get some. Okay, 
before we go too much further I'm going to use this I'm going to use this that ought to help out a little bit Make sure we get that back what Oh, another blueberry seed. You know, I wish blueberries gave you more uh, food saturation, but we'll take the one that's fine. Although it gives you a chance of food poisoning, which really sucks. Okay. Oh, nobody in here. Workbench is destroyed. Nice. Let's clear this one out. Is that ammo? Sure is, baby. Oh, it's a junk turret. Are you kidding me? So junk turrets are kind of neat. You can pick them up and use them as a weapon, or you can drop them down and they'll just fire at the nearest zombie. It's kind of cool. But you gotta make junk ammo, it's just made out of iron. The higher level you go with it too, the uh, more of them you can actually have operational at one time. Alright, repair with repair kits. Nice. Alright, let's get the shiz out here. I think there's somebody upstairs. Nope. All quiet in the western front. There's somebody up there though, I think. So we'll forego breaking anything here. Hopefully there's nobody up there. There usually isn't. Usually there's two guys over there too. only one okay I'll take it oh come on right here buddy yeah leading him a little too much There you go. Get some. Oh, come on. Definitely harder to hit with the bow now. At least it feels that way for me. Oh, come on. Really? There you go. I'm going to go get my arrows. I'm just feeling that the scarcity of uh, bird's nest now kind of have to go get the arrows. All right, let's see what kind of loot we got over here. Some gasoline. So they removed the ability to pick up the gas barrels now, which I think is probably a good way to go. Let's get this concrete. Sorry, cement. That's a fair amount of cement. Bring somebody outside. It's weird too. The sound that they make outside now. Oh, that's a nice splint. Plaster cast. This guy's locked. All right, so we got our lock picks on us. Let's see if we can pick this lock. The noise that the zombies now make. Sometimes it makes you feel like there's more than one. Like last night when they. Uh, when the one guy came knocking on my wall, I thought it was a whole horde, but really it was just one guy shuffling along. Ooh, got it in one shot that time. Nice. <gasps> yes, please. I almost think I have to go home now. Well, let's drop the bone knife, the hunting knife now. Um, 
bring this pistol down. Let's load it up. And then let's go to this one and click Modify to Unload. Okay. That should be good enough, I think. But I think we do have to continue along. We'll go... I don't know. Tell you what. Let's go to the trader. We'll trade our stuff in. Get our, get our quest completed. Um, pick up a new quest, which we won't start. We'll go home first. Drop all our shiz off. And then we'll, if we got time, we'll do the quest if it's within range. And if we don't have time, well, uh, we can hit up one of the buildings around beside us. Come on, give me nine. There you go. <laughs> nice. You don't ask, you don't get. There's somebody down there. You know what? I think we have to go home first. I think we're closer to home than we are to the trader. We're way too overloaded for this. I could put a drop chest down, though. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let's get this stuff. We'll put a drop chest down. Pick it up on the way back. He's mad. Some bonies out there are all angry-like. Okay, where are the pigs at? Pigs are on uh, this side. So let's go out here. Because I don't want to go down to the pig level and fight, fight them down there. Let's see if we can see them from up here. I don't see them anywhere. Nope. Alright, well let's just grab this stuff. And there he is. Because of course. Okay, we're going to grab all this. Then we'll put a chest in the street. Right over here. Let's make a chest first. Got one slot left. And then we'll drop a whole bunch of this stuff in. Anything that we're not going to sell to the trader or whatever. And then when we come back, we'll just pick it up. Oh shit, really? Fuck you, dog. Now they're all angry. <sighs> okay, storage chest. Stuff we don't need to take. I think I'm going to sell that pistol, keep all the ammo, iron spear we can sell, that we can put in there, that we can put in there, sell, keep, that's looking pretty good I think, let's chop this dog up, twenty-three more meat, perfect, okay, uh, what, do we, what do we have here, oh yeah, our bandages, right, let's go to the trader, I can't believe that would come out and there's a dog right there. It's just my luck. Wait, do we reload? We are now. Not stopping for anybody. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need a lot more sand, though. How much stone do I have? 5 for 24. We need stone and sand. Pick up one stone at a time, I think. <laughs> See if we can find some boulders over here. Could you imagine that? I'm just going to pick up one stone at a time. So we'll get this stuff moving today. And then um, we're going to have to come back tomorrow, I guess, pick it all up. But like I said, if we get a quest from this guy, that'll be worth it.
I should have just taken all of my sand. I was staring at it thinking, I should just take all of this. What would it have hurt? Nothing really. Ah, now I gotta dig up more. I gotta take it from the top here. Alright, well I gave myself to around noon. Airdrop's coming in. That's way over there. Figures. So we picked up, oh, I've got 920, so it's not bad. We don't even have that much stone, so it's not like we can get all that stone going. Or all that concrete going. Um, but we'll get a bunch of it going anyway. And then maybe we go, well, it's kind of way off. That's not that far off. I think we'll go hit up that drop. Now, the one thing about the airdrops now is uh, definitely get some better gear. Um, it's not all food. So, um, weapons, armor, kind of stuff like that. You know, stuff that you'll definitely be using. So it's worth going to pick it up now. Whereas before, it's like, you know, you get like 9 or 10 food items or, you know, a few food items. And sometimes you get a gun or sometimes you get a beaker or whatever. This time, it's like worth going to hit it up because chances are you'll pick up a weapon. So that's kind of good. Ah, let's kill this girl. Getting close to leveling up here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm all tuckered out. Let's see what kind of quests he's got for us today. Or sorry, she's got for us today. It's so hard to know. They. They've got for us today. Take now we're cooking. Antibiotics or iron helmet? I'm taking the iron antibiotics. Uh alright, what do you got here? Let's sell this. The iron spear we were planning on selling. Uh the cowboy hat. We got two gold nuggets we can sell. 308, that's nice. And ten silver nuggets for 550. So we got 2400 now. All right, what have you got? We never haven't really looked yet. Wow, I got a lot of stuff here. Structural brace mod, helmet light mod. We could put that in the, uh, yeah, we could put that in the, um, let's buy that, in the uh, football helmet. Because now level white one items can have one modifier, which is great. Uh, nothing in there. Spotlight. This is the kind of stuff we don't need right now. Much as I'd like it. Iron crossbow. 31 range damage, projectile 60. Compound bow. Oh, look at that, though. Level 5. All right, well, I'm going to leave it for now. It's got forged iron, forged steel. Steel we don't need. Not right away, anyway. Uh, potatoes. Blueberries. Beaker, 450. Anvil. We'll take that. Um, want the beaker? Maybe. I want a pair of pants more than anything. Nerdy glasses. 1800 Don't have enough. Restocks on day 7. So we got lots of time for that. Mining helmet. Level 1. Yeah, I don't know. Nerdy glasses would be nice. Uh, do we buy the beaker? Beakers are a lot more, um, a lot easier to find. I found three in my other game that I was playing. Two of them were for air, from uh, doing quests, so they're not that difficult to get. All right, let's just do that. Thank you, Survivor. Thank you. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. What do you got? Clear zombie six fourteen. Oh, we're not going to take anything today. We're going to go get that airdrop. As much as I wanted to take something today, but I was just hoping for something really close, but there wasn't anything, so. And the 614, well, it, there's a good chance it's in our town. It could be, like, over there somewhere, and I don't really want to go that far. Not until we have a bicycle. Then it'll definitely be worth it. And we never got the concrete moving. <sighs> good thing I realized it before we got home. This is like, oh, yeah, the concrete. Oh, yeah, the concrete. There. Let's get that going. Because, damn. Alright, here we go. Concrete mix. 
There we go. Nice. Now we need to pick up stone on the way home. We have zero now. That anvil, I couldn't find one in the last game, nor could I find a schematic, and the trader didn't have one, so... It was like, I couldn't get anything from... Uh, like, I couldn't make uh, rebar frames or anything, right? So... Which was a real pain. Alright. Um, these are empty. Let's just head over here. Okay, it's super hot out here. A lot harder, hotter than I was expecting. I think it's because I leveled up. I really need to get pants. Gonna have problems in a second here. Wow, look at that sheer cliff. Oh look, it's the gallows. Okay, let's uh, use this first. Pick that up. Cole's books, eh? We need to cool off, so I wonder if we should go in there. Oh my god, the uh, air drops on the other side of that. Let's get out of here. Let's go right to the green biome. As much as I want to go in there, I'm like sweltering right now. Let's get out of this biome. Yeah, definitely need to get fine pants. Get some of those insulator mods too, that'll be nice. There we go. Oh, there's a deer over there. I haven't been able to one-shot a deer in this game yet either. Maybe we can do it now that we have two and a half times damage sneak attack. What are you jumping over? And he's going to run. Because, of course, he is. Do, do, do. I will find you. Do, do, do. Waskily Wabbit. Where are you? There you are. Still running, huh? Oh, there's a zombie, that's why. Okay, try one more. No. Nope. Don't have the velocity on these arrows to accurately predict when we're going to hit this thing. Oh, for Christ's sake. It's like playing the game from the start all over again. There we go. Even if I didn't kill him, at least we crippled him. He wouldn't be able to run away. All right, where's my uh, knife? There we go. Use enough arrows on you, buddy. All we gotta do is find eggs. Twenty, huh? All right, there was yes, this right here. <coughs> Sorry for not being more excited, guys. I just oh, there's a bear. Because of course there's a bear. I could go after him with the pistol, but uh, I just don't have the testis the testiculars for that one. I don't really need to get this honey now, but we have antibiotics. But it's nice to have it. You know, if you get infected, the last thing you want to do is waste a whole antibiotic on, like, a 1% infection or whatever. Just use honey. That way, if we're away from home sometime, we get infected and we come back and we got, like, 20% or infection or whatever, we can just use an antibiotic instead.
Stay down, stay down, stay down. Ooh, that was lucky. That headshot came at a fortuitous time. We're gonna burn another uh, bacon and eggs today. It's a good thing we found some meat. Just gotta find some eggs now. With the lack of bird's nests, you can't necessarily rely on bacon and eggs all the time anymore. At least that's how it feels to me. I could be wrong. It could be different for other people's playthroughs, but that's just how I found it. Yeah, what's that? John's... John Ham's radios. Oh! Motorcycle handlebar schematics. Gyrocopter accessory schematics. And some ammo. Well, not as good as I was hoping, but we got a level 3 pistol, so I'm not... We didn't get a weapon, it doesn't really matter. Plus we got an AK back home too, so good that way. I just saw another animal. Yeah, I'm getting a flash again. Is that a mountain lion? I think that's a mountain lion. No, it's a pig. Okay, I'm going to show you how tough these guys are. Told you. Now, if I didn't have a ton of medical supplies, I never would have done that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's why I don't kill pigs anymore. It's like, unless you can get up on a roof, right? Or something along that line. It's like, what? It's just, like, just stay the frig away from them. Or if you're using a gun. I mean, that'll work too, right? But no gun, no pig. No gun, no pig. And let's use, uh, where are you? I'm glad that wasn't a mountain lion because we got meat, but uh, it would have been nice to see one. I haven't seen one yet. Okay, I am going to avoid this zombie. We still have a ton of shiz we got to pick up in front of that. Uh... <sighs> yeah, you know what? Let's drop this stuff at home. We'll go pick up all our other GAC. It's getting late in the day. We don't have time to mess around anymore. Except for bird's nests. We always have time to mess around for bird's nests. See, this is what I want to see too, though, in the game more often. I want to see buildings that are really close together in towns. Oh, what's this? Motor tool parts. That's cool. Like, that's a really cool building. You know, some of these, these new buildings are really, really nice. But I want to see more of them, like, all jammed close together. Hey, what's up, dude? Stay down, stay down, stay down. Plating something or other. Yeah, look, this is the industrial era, area of town. Only oats. That's kind of a cool house looking right there. That's not even a house. That's like some kind of business or something. Little bell tower on the top. Pretty cool looking. There's a lot of really cool looking buildings now. Just makes me want to just like walk around and just explore everything, you know? Uh, let's put the shovel here. And let's hit up some of these on the way back. Because we got one left at home. That way we don't have to do it when we go pick up our other GAC. Yeah, this like the water towers. Remember we used to have, when you played, there were like, you know, five or ten water towers in a town, and they'd just be all the same type. Now they got a whole bunch of different types of water towers. Like, that's pretty cool looking. The fence around it. Right, it's a big metal drum. That's like a 7,000 hit point uh, center column on it. Ooh, solar panels. 
We are running out of space. All right, so I think we've got a good amount of stuff to start building. Oh, look at this. Forget it, we're taking this. We've got a good amount of stuff to start building our, our home and our base. So maybe next episode what we'll do is we'll uh, clear out inside. We got wrenches, we got um, the ability to uh, repair them. So we'll just wrench all of the stuff inside, get as many like materials as off of them as we can. And then um, once that's done, huh. oh, here we go. Once that's done, um, uh, we'll be able to assess how much room we've got to make a proper horde base inside the house, if that's what we're planning on doing. I think it would be kind of a cool idea to build a horde base inside our house. I mean, it's, I mean, we've always built a secondary horde base, um, but we should build one in the house this time, or at least you know come up with a way that we can defend the house. I'm pretty sure I know how it can be done. And then maybe we build a horde base like off the back or something for those for the, like you know for bigger horde nights if we're going to be doing it uh, later on. I mean, I don't know if we'll go past episode 30, but uh, we'll see. So there might only be one horde. Oh my god, we got so much shiz on us. All right, let's put this away. Okay, we've got a little bit of time left to go and pick up our other stuff. So let's go do that. I really should stop organizing it like this because I have a hard time finding stuff when I do that. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I do that. I, I get I get used to watching other players do it. I'm like, oh yeah, it sounds, looks like a good idea. And then it's like, I can't find anything. All right, let's go get our other stuff. If we can hit up some more stone on the way back, we should, because we're running low on stone now too. Ah! All right, let's go grab our stuff from over here. Now I grabbed some a blueberry seed and some oil along the way, which is nice. Oh, for Christ's sake. Worship me. Alright, where's all our stuff? Over there. It's in here. Nothing. Alright. Thank God for that extra bar. Because you just wouldn't, I mean, you'd just be dead. Dead in the water trying to move around without it. like that. Alright, let's not use the durability of our stuffs. Let's just do it this way. We got eight before, so we'll have enough chrysanthemum when we get back. Make some more red tea. I want to try to have a lot of food and water on hand so we don't actually have to keep making it every single night. But I think, yeah, you know what, maybe tomorrow We'll assess the situation in our house. Ugh. Nice. And then um, we'll go back to where all this, those factories were. Because, I mean, I haven't seen any of those buildings before. So it'd be kind of nice to go in there and check out what they're like. I think that's what we'll do tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to hit up a little bit of stone here before we go back inside, just so we have some on us in case we need to build something tonight with it. All right, guys, we got a bit of stone. Not a lot. You know, we got what now? Uh, 700 and something. Which is plenty for what we need. We might make some cobblestone with it. I don't know. See how it goes. Wait, now this is where I, sh I was shooting at the guy. Are any arrows left in the ground here? I don't see any arrows down here. I don't know if they despawn right away or what. I always thought they would stay 
for a long time, but I don't see any here, so... I wonder if it's because I uh, had to reload the game. I wonder if that's it. Alright, let's get up in here. Organize our shiz. Starting to look like home in here now. Okay, sewing kits. Uh, metal casings. Nitrate powder, leather, paper, cobblestone, iron, branch, oil. I'm turn those feathers into something good. All right, that's it for there. And in here, those. Okay, let's pull the clay out. Uh, we got wood. We need nitrate powder. Gotta make some farm plots here. Where's our nitrate powder? Here we go. And we got some rotten flitch. Where is it? Here we go. See how many of these we can make. So we go to uh, food cooking, farm plots. We can make five. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. It's all our rotten flesh gone, but whatever. We got no uh, clay left either. We can worry about that later. Here's a junk turret. Let's throw it down. So you can hold this thing and fire it. Right when you have ammo. Or you can right click and place it so it'll stay dead basically until something comes by and activates it and then it'll just start shooting at them so that's kind of cool and we don't really have any use for it right now but we will sooner or later all right let's get our farm plot out here we're gonna get this out we want that out we want that out let's put the anvil in here nice a football helmet we can modify Drop this light in it. Wear that. We're going to keep the cowboy hat on us for when we go to the desert. Let's just have a look here. Oh yeah, man. Got to have that cigar. We got to get those nerdy goggles. So hopefully we can find some stuff tomorrow and pick up the nerdy goggles. Let's have um, uh, What was it going to do here? Oh yeah, let's look at the light on here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think the I think the actual light cone is softer than it was before. It doesn't seem so harsh now. So yeah, not bad. All right, uh, what are we gonna do here? Let's make some. We can make one bacon and egg. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we can make. Uh, two of these. Let's get two chrysanthemums. Let's just make two more red teas as well. So we're going to be fine, I think, for food. Um, let's cook that. Two red tea. I think we're going to need more fuel than that, so let's put that in there. And our farm pots, we got four. Now, I don't know if we can pick these up afterwards, so we got to really decide where we want them. I wonder if we put them along here. Because this has got like, these things have got like 10,000 health or 7,000 health, so I, don't, I can't knock them out. Um, do I want it in the middle or do I want it down one side here? Maybe we put it up here. Um, tell you what. Let's drop it there for now and grab some seeds here. Now, I don't know if the mushroom seeds, I don't think we... Mushroom spores and blueberry seeds. So let's grab our blueberry seeds. Just do that so they look different when you put them in. And the mushrooms, I think you can put anywhere. Yeah, you can. So let's put them right there. Good enough. All right, so that's going. Now, do we have any more seeds? I don't think we do, other than oak seeds. I wonder if we can... Let's just see. What do you know? That'll work. Plant a tree up here so we don't have to go down and get wood at night if we have if we need it, which we actually do. Cool, I think that's all we'll do for today. We got lots of stuff in there. We have Okay, let's have a look at our skills first before we leave today. We'll see where we're at. We got one point available. Uh, we could go lucky looter. Um we have two strength already. We could go minor 69er again can make better quality tools. Increase tool damage by 20% and block damage by 60%. Um, that's a possibility. 
Bring up the land. Cardio. Want more agility? Want more? You want better archery? Uh, ten percent more damage. Ten percent faster aim. Reload with bows. Uh, unlocks wooden bow crafting. What else here? Grease bunky. We could go for the bicycle. Let's do that. I don't think we have enough material yet to, to make a bike. I think we need more coal and stuff. Right, if I'm not mistaken. Got the oil. Uh, we have the scrap polymers. We have the acid. We have the forged iron. So now all we need is the coal, which I think we need. We have to find a coal node. We've got eight. We need, tw we need 12. We don't need 12. We need 10. Because we need to... Right, because the wheels... We have one wheel already. It's the wheels that need this. And then we need pipes duct tape and more forged iron. Forged iron is no problem. We've got the pipes. I think we need springs now too, which we have. We need a bit of leather, which we have. Mechanical parts, which we have. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we can do that. All right. Just need two coal. Where are we going to get coal from? Um, good question. Anyway, I'll see if I can find some downstairs tonight. I'm going to go down there and do a little bit of work, I think. Um, but I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please be pretty subscribed. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.